I'm Nancy McCormick and we're in Weston, Connecticut. We were living up in Bethlehem and he was commuting about two hours each way every day to his job in Greenwich. So we decided to move here but we had a, a daughter in high school in a very small private high school and we wanted her to be in a small high school. So Weston was the only school system around that had a, wasn't a regional school, but didn't have 2,000 kids and so that's why we came here. I started out there as a parent rep for the preschool, um, which meant I brought snacks and did things like that. And that from there, I went to um, um, it went to being on the board, and from there I ended up being president of the board to help to determine the future of the school and where it would go. And then when she graduated from that and um, from preschool and went to elementary school, went to kindergarten. I was a room mother. Why? Because they sent a letter home and said we need room mother. So, you know, I made the mistake, as it were, of answering the letter and um, became a room mother for my daughter's class, which got me into the PTO machine. And in Weston, it was a big machine. I mean, they were raising $70,000 a year for philanthropy. So to me, that's like a company. If you have $70,000 a year to give away, that's a big deal. Um, but when I got in there as the room mother, I realized that they were still doing everything the old-fashioned way. They were sending home these newsletters that were 15 pages. They were sending them home three times a year. They were totally outdated and, you know, it, the communication was a big problem. So I said, well, you know, I can do communication. I've done stuff like that. And um, so from being a room parent the following year, I ended up sitting on the executive board being a communication chair. From there, I ended up being, you know, PTO president. Just a, sort of this natural progression. It's like a, a sea of, of uh, PTO volunteerism. You sort of get sucked in and then you, you know, end up right there um, until you finally you know, get your way out. From there, uh, someone approached me and asked me if I would um, sit on the board of the local alcohol and drug awareness program. I was sort of on the periphery of that for a while. I was on the board, but they didn't really have a job. Anyhow, somehow I ended up um, president of that organization. <laughs> From there, I went to the town's commission for children and youth because I had been so involved in these other organizations, in the PTOs, in the Girl Scouts. I was also a Girl Scout leader at the same time. My father was a physician. One day a week he went into New York City and volunteered one day at the free clinic at New York Hospital. Then I met my husband um, and he was a member of the JCs. So he was going out to help at Special Olympics. He was chopping wood for people that needed wood for heating, you know. And my youngest is a volunteer herself. She works with uh, developmentally disabled adults. She's a swim coach for them and she also teaches arts and crafts and she's done that for over a year and we're going to the Special Olympics this coming weekend uh, in, New ha in New Haven for two days to, to volunteer our time there. So, they, you know, it's just part of who we are, I think. There are, there are, there's this group of kids that are, you know, bad kids. They're, they're sort of demonized by parents because they're they're bad kids but you know if you look into their eyes and you spend some time talking to them they're just kids they're kids that are having problems that are looking for um, where they're supposed to go in life and how they're supposed to get there and dealing with whatever they have to deal with and um, I think being involved with the alcohol and drug awareness program where we would bring in speakers that would address some of the things that were going on with some of these kids really made me realized that it wasn't, um, wasn't necessarily bad parenting, it wasn't um, necessarily, um, you know, I don't know what it was that were making these kids act out, um, but more than anything, these, these kids need to be loved first that, uh, and, and not punished. I think every organization that I've ever worked with, I've worked with all different kinds of people and some people have their own agendas, and some people, um, um, not everybody is easy necessarily to get along with. Uh, some people are very rigid and don't want to look at new ideas. And um, in all the different organizations that I've worked with, I, I, I think it's um, made me 
be even more tolerant than I am by nature of the differences in people and, and more compassionate. I mean, you never know what's going on behind somebody's door, um, what's going on in their home, in their life, you know. And the one thing that I would do that I haven't done that I would be interested in doing is uh, something where I could bring different populations together to work on a project. Like I would love, I was talking to my daughter about this when I was down there about a week ago. I would love to have some kind of a business where I could have inner city youth learn how business works. Use developmentally disabled people to help do some of the processing and bring seniors in to answer phones, to provide whatever it could be. Intergenerational, inter-community to get people together because we're all people. You know, we're all part of this world. We'd love to see that person somehow be able to say, well, this is how you take a product and bring it to fruition and this is how a company works. And you know, there aren't a lot of companies that are gonna give people like that uh, a, ch a chance necessarily. I believe firmly in giving back to my community. I, I don't think you can just, I hear too many people sitting around complaining they don't like this, they don't like that, but they're not doing anything to try to change it. And that kind of bothers me. Um, I've never really waited to be asked to do something. If I see something that needs to be fixed, um, I'll offer. I would hope that people would um, be inspired to give back to their community, to volunteer, to help people, to be nicer, to jump in without waiting to be asked if they had a particular talent.